Shield will come out again, Jim. I don't know whether it's, it's got to be the breathing problem. Maybe his nose is busted. Yeah, I think it's trouble with his breathing. I don't think his nose is busted. I just think it's been the pace of the action. The lungs are craving for more oxygen and he's got to open his mouth. That left hook missed. A good shot from Ben, just missed the whisker. See, McClellan's still trying to get a bit more composure into his work. I saw him in a spa session once with Tommy Hearns in the front gym and did throw it, and they got applause. Can you imagine that and a workout? That was a tremendous left hook from Ben. Again, when he was in trouble himself, that one really shook McClellan. Barry McGuigan. McClellan has never gone past eight rounds. Surely it's going to be a matter of fitness. This pace has been terrific. Well, Nigel's uh, lateral movement has given him real problems. He's loaded up throughout this fight, and they're starting to take his toll on him. He's very fatigued. He looks a lot more tired than Nigel does, but this is all down to who wants it the most, who's the fittest. There's always a risk with Nigel that he could just get tagged. Well, there is a risk. But he's finding McClellan much easier to hit now, and also McClellan's finding him more difficult to hit. If McClellan woke the body, he could probably have more success, but he's too tired to be able to think like that. Looking at those two there, McClellan looks the one distressed. No doubt about that, and he's more worried than Ben is at this stage. And working there in McClellan's corner, Ralph Citro, great record compiler in America, and one of the most experienced of the cut men. So, round eight. I think Barry McGuigan's got it about level. I've got Ben one up, Jim. You? Yeah, I've got Ben one up too, just in sheer work rate. Although Here. McClellan was a lot more composed. Yes, he has got it. The level. previous round. It's still that two point in the in the opening round, probably. That uh, maybe people think that Ben's a little bit farther ahead. But remember that the judges have to deduct that. The only thing that worries me in the whole fight is the fact that Ben's getting home with good shots, but they're not troubling McClellan. And in a 12-round fight, that is a severe problem. See, here McClellan's strength beginning to take over. If McClellan starts <laughs> backing Nigel up, then we are, we're going to see some serious trouble for Ben. Yeah, and Don King standing up there to oppose Bruno. Who knows? He might even be the next opponent. He's had some like him. Ben's too tired now to think about tactics. It's just the sheer heart, the sheer warrior's heart that's keeping him going now. But he must try to keep his body weight forward, keep pushing this fellow back if he can do it. Still not getting out of the way of punches, McClellan, but I tell you what, Jim, you, you can't question his heart either. He's taking some tough shots. No, but Ben should be the one that's the happier of the two. I think McClellan and his people must have thought they'd be shipping, uh, sipping champagne already. They would not have believed Nigel Ben would still be here. No, they obviously have turned out to be a bit complacent. Huh? He's actually not managed by... Well, that was a good right-hand lead from McClellan. Not managed by Don King anymore, by the way. But King is under the King umbrella, as they say, in a promotional sense. Oh, good right hand again from the Oh, he's got in trouble. He's in trouble in the eighth round here. He rolled back from that punch and he was hurt, Ben. Right above us here, Jim. Look at there he goes again. The wounded lion bit again. But he's, he's back in trouble dip. here. Legs of that dredge. He's got to get out of that corner, Jim. He's got to get out of that corner and he won't, but he doesn't mind being in the corner. That was the own impetus of missing with the punch. He's got, he's got to count there, the referee. Ben was actually stumbling to the floor of his own accord. Yeah, I know he was. Punch landed, so the referee has to call it Exactly. Oh, dear, that's, that's put him back on the point schedule anyway. But again, Ben comes back with that left hook. Right hand from Ben. Right, wait, wait. You know, we kept promoting this uh, this fight as being explosive, but I tell you what, we didn't promote it enough. One explosive, of the fights, Reg, even better than we anticipated. Yeah. Punishing, grueling, and I'm hoping now for his sake, Nigel Ben, that uh, that round didn't take too much out of him. Uh, and there's a rundown, as I said earlier, with the corner men. But a little, little bruise under Ben's eye has been taken care of okay. 
And there you are, this is the other side. With the, the trainer there as well. Let's have another look at that, Jim. Well, once again, it's only the sheer heart courage of Nigel Benn that kept him in the fight. These were the bombs that knocked out Julian Jackson and all the rest on McLaren's record. But Benn has taken them and actually come back with good shots of his own. Tremendous show of courage. This is where his legs actually dipped as though it was all over. And he seemed to stumble forward. I think Benn threw a punch, missed, and he was stumbling. He was going over to the floor of his own accord. See that one? He was falling over, but the punch just sent him over. So the referee had to count. Yeah, but I don't think McClellan can believe... Oh, tremendous punch! ...that Ben's still there. First time he got into a ninth round in his life, McClellan. See, Ben's tiring now, Reg, and his chin is up a bit higher. He's trying to get his hands up there. They must have warned him, the cornermen there. Tuck the chin down a bit. You're taking chances. As soon as a fighter's tired, Reg, up comes the chin. That's what's happening to Ben, and that's what's getting him in trouble. Actually, McClellan just giving that little breather that Ben needs. McClellan is still trying to keep some composure in his boxing. Ben has to drive, he has to do 